Hey, what's up, folks? I uh, just wanted to share some information with you real quick um, on how to get your Ion Drum Rocker set up to work with DTX Mania. Um, just wanted to show you. Let's see here. Control panel. First thing you do, obviously, is hook up your drums. Uh, then go into Game Controllers and confirm that it does say Controller Ion Drum Rocker. Um, as you may know, uh, the issue with using the ion drums with the computer is that the symbols don't register correctly. Uh, there's a long story behind that, but basically if you hit the hi-hat and the snare at the same time, you'll get a random tom sound because of the way the controller's set up. So there's a couple different applications that will help you get around that. I'm going to show you one today, um, and then I might have some more information on the other ones later. Uh, first thing you want to do is download the zip file right here. I'm going to be providing a link to that, so that's easy enough. And then when you do open it up, you're going to have this folder that's going to have GlovePie uh, 029. Now, I've already got that on my computer, obviously, right here. Um, as soon as I can find it. Who hid my folder? Uh, there it is. Anyway. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to open up GlovePie, and then go to File, and then Open, and then look for Ion for DTX.py. Then go ahead and click on that, and then hit the Run button, and then with any luck, your drum should start to register in DTX Mania. So then, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and open it up. Let's hope that my... S oh crap, it's going to count up all my songs. This is going to take a minute. Well, while we're waiting. Um, I'm also going to show you what to do if you have a Rock Band 1 drum set and you don't have all of the drums necessary. There's a couple different things you can do. Um, you can set drums to auto. Um, you can also set it so that the mid tom also plays the notes that come down in the floor tom lane. So that can be a big help. That's that's what I did when I first started out. I had a snare, a hi-hat, a high tom, a mid tom, and then I had the cymbal on auto and the floor tom on the mid tom. So that's, that's what I did. Uh, and of course the bass pedal, but that's just me killing time while I'm waiting for this thing to get to 3,000. Um, hmm, how was your day? Anyway, I think it's about done, so. <laughs> this is going to be the most retarded YouTube video ever. Okay, there it is. Great. So now, um, we're going to go in, and we're going to see if our drums work, which they should. <coughs> do, 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 do. that Bill Fondo character. Freestyle kits. Now, just in case you're not familiar with DTX Mania, normally what you see down in the left-hand corner where it says Led Zepp kit, Rush kit, kit, D&B kit, uh, that's normally difficulty levels, and the way you select between them is by double-tapping the hi-hat. So, I'm going to go over here with my drumstick and see if it's working. If I don't drop it on the floor. And there it is. So that was me hitting the cymbal. And then... One thing I've noticed with glove play is it can't double hit sometimes. Uh, because of the way the script was written. But um, DTX Mania doesn't actually knock off for extra notes. So until I get something better, which I do have other applications lined up to show you, uh, it is how it is. So there's that. And like I was mentioning before, if you're using an older rock band set, here's what you do. Go to FT group. You change that to FT1. And then what that'll do is that'll make it so that your low tom is played on your mid tom. Uh, the other thing you can do, you want to make sure that your hi-hat group is set on HH3. 
and that way it doesn't expect you to play both the open and the closed hi-hats. Everything's played on the same pad. Uh, you can turn stage failed off, and then that way you won't fail five seconds into every song when you're still learning how to do it, like I do. Um, uh, CY group, if you put the CY group on one, that lets you play the ride symbol on your crash symbol. So if you don't have a ride currently with your ion set, uh, you're using a Rock Band 2 set, which hopefully works with this, um, then that's what you're going to want to do. I'm turning it back off because I have a ride. Um, yep. And that's pretty much it. The other thing is, if you go into Options, and then Drums, this is where you can set things off and on for auto. So say, for example, if you're on a Rock Band 1 set, uh, and you don't have a s uh, crash symbol, you can turn the crash symbol onto auto, and then you don't have to worry about playing them anymore. Uh, some people set the uh, bass drum to auto, but that's only if you're lame. So, so that's pretty much it. Um, hook it up try it and if you have any problems just go ahead and comment in the comments uh, or come to gdamania.net and I'll be more than happy to give you a hand. F thanks for watching my stumbly bumbly video.